What's going on TW fans? Jake here bringing you this week's episode of What's New Attack Warehouse. Hopefully everyone had a good holiday season. Hope you're getting out and doing a little fishing if you're not frozen over yet. Um, we got a few things for you today. Just a, just a couple things trickling in the inventory. Not too much. Holiday season's been busy, but new things have been a little bit slower. The first couple products we got are from Six Sense Lures. So this first one is the new Finesse Curve 55 Square Bill Crankbait. So Built with the same body as the original curved crankbait, which is an awesome crank, went down about 8, 10 feet. Um, so it has a real wide body shape to it, and it actually has a unique um, waiting system in it that actually gets it to hunt side to side when you're, when you're cranking it. But now with the new square bill, it's a pretty small square bill, so it really targets that 1 to 3 foot range. Um, it's got a really tight wobbling action, so it's not overbearing like you know some of the hard wobbling square bills out there on the market. And like always with all the Sixth Sense stuff, you know, you, you're almost getting a custom crankbait. You know, they got premium paint jobs, uh, black nickel split rings. They got uh, come right out of the box of EWG uh, triple grip style hooks on them, so ready to roll. Um, you don't have to upgrade anything. These are super sweet crankbaits. Definitely want to check these out. All right, next up, from also from Six Sense, we got their new prawn creature bait. So sweet creature bait. Uh, you could do tons of stuff with it. You know, flip in, punch it through every cover. Uh, you could put it on a, as a jig trailer. You can run it on a Carolina rig if you want, just a regular old Texas rig. Um, the first thing I noticed about this is the plastic is super durable. I mean, it is tough plastic. Um, it's also got all the appendages on it, you know, the, the reverse facing ribs, uh, little si side legs, um, nice big flappers on here. But with that tough plastic, you're not going to go through as many baits as you would with some of the other soft plastics on the market. They come uh, clamshelled in the package so they're all perfectly straight you're not going to have any with kinks on them but if you do a lot of punching and you know heavy flipping you know you're going to get a lot you're going to be able to catch a lot of fish on these and not and not tear them up as easily as some of the other soft plastic baits all right from nickels lures we got the nickels lures pulsator painted blade um painted spinner bait so if you've never fished a nickel spinner bait these these are phenomenal spinner baits i can't say enough good things about them um, all the spinner baits in their line are just really well built, quality components. But now we got the new painted, uh, painted series, so this is going to be awesome here coming up early spring. So when that water is really dirty, really muddy, and you just need that extra flash, that little extra attraction, um, they got a few colors, mostly white and chartreuses, that are just really going to pop in that dirty water. Uh, so if you need a dirty water spinner bait, uh, check out the new painted Nichols Luger spinner baits. All right, from Chase Baits. So we got this sweet new craw bait. This is the Chase Baits Mud Bug. As you can see here, it's one of the most realistic crawdad imitators ever developed. Um, the underwater footage of this bait is amazing. It comes pre-rigged uh, with this harness and the lead weight, this egg, kind of an egg sack built into the tail here. Um, and this is also made out of a super tough TPE plastic. So um, you're, you're not gonna tear, fish aren't gonna be able to tear this up very easily. It's really durable. Um, not only does it look great um, when it sits in the water, these claws actually float up and, you know, any little movement, those claws just move around and, I mean, it looks like an actual crawdad in a defensive position. So, I mean, can't get much more lifelike than that unless you use an actual live bait. Uh, if you're looking for a new crawdad bait, definitely want to look at the, uh, the new chase baits. All right, for all the finesse guys, got a new finesse jig head here from, um, from Gamagatsu. This is the Gamagatsu Offset Finesse Jig Head. So... What this does, it's, it's almost a bullet head style shape, but there's a lot of weight in front of the line tie. So the way it's designed with that line tie also sunk into the weight a little bit. Every time you're pulling this bait, it's going to want to ride itself up. So it actually kicks the, you know, it kicks the hook up and it's going to get your whatever plastic you put on there. You know, this is going to be great for like a weedless style Ned, head, or Ned rig or, you know, you could put any kind of soft plastic on here, you know, a little craw bait, just a little worm whatever you want, but every time you move it, it's going to kick it up in the air and just give you um, just give you great action. And then, you know, it's made from Gamagatsu, so it's got a premium hook on it, super sharp. Um, it's definitely going to be one you want to use on light tackle. Um, it is a, a light wire hook, so you want to use a spinning rod, uh, you know, six, eight, maybe 10 pound test, um, and it's just going to, you're going to get phenomenal hook penetration and, and put a lot of fish in the boat with this thing when it's tough out there. All right, from G-Rap Baits, so we got a couple new ones here. So this new one here is the, the smaller version of the, of the Sneaky Pete glide bait. This is the new Pistol Pete. Um, if you've never checked these glide baits out before, they are really cool. It's a pretty unique glide bait. Uh, super hydronet, hydronet design. So it doesn't get a super wide gliding action as some of the other glide baits on the market, but it cuts through the water and you don't feel it at all. It has no pull on it and it, it shoots out side to side. You can twitch it and get it to you know, turn 90 degrees and uh, 
just gets a really great swimming action. Now they got it in the smaller size, the Pistol Pete. It's about five and a half inches long. I believe it only weighs uh, 1.2 ounces. So uh, you don't need specialized equipment for it. Um, not, some other key features of this thing, it's got the rotating uh, hook hangers on there. So when you get a fish hooked up, um, you're not gonna, you're, they're gonna be able to twist and turn and, you, and you're, they're not gonna gain any leverage on you. Um, extra strong hardware all around, uh, katana hook. So ready to rock right out of the box as well. All right, next up from G-Rat Baits as well, we got the new Wild Willy Topwater Bait. So this is an awesome, large size topwater bait. Uh, you get some big bites on this thing. It's got a really unique action as well on this. Um, it's kind of got a similar profile as the, the Glide Baits, the, the Sneaky Pete and the Pistol Pete. So this thing cuts through the water and glides out, you know, a few feet side to side. Um, you can also do, do a few different things with it, put a little bit more slack in your line. You can get it to sit in one spot and work like a traditional walking style bait. Um, you can reel it and just make it, you know, get kind of a waking action out of it and just give it nice, because it's so big it pushes a lot of water and you get a nice V behind it. Uh, it's got the heavy duty hardware just like all the other baits, the rotating hook hangers, um, heavy katana hooks. Uh, if you guys are looking for a big top water, top water bait, especially coming up in the early spring, get some really big bites on these, definitely going to want to look at the, uh, the Wild Willy. Alright, got a few new rods for you today. So the first one here is from Dobbins Rods. This is the new Boom Boom Series of Rods, Boom Boom Series Champion Series of Rods. So um, built on the blanks is the Champions hot, you know, proprietary high modulus blank Kevlar wrapping on it. Extremely lightweight. I mean, really well balanced rods. Uh, Fuji K guides, Fuji Real C, Portuguese cork handle. But these are all the Fred Rabanus models. Fred Rabanus switched over to Dobbins last year. Now he's got five casting rods and then one spinning rod. So. All technique specific rods that you know, he built for the style of fishing he likes to do. There's, you know, there's a crank rod, there's a frog rod, flipping rod, there's a, there's a big sw a swim bait rod in there. So um, you know, any of those techniques, uh, there's, a, there's a rod in there that Fred Rubens has built. All right, next up from ARC. So we got the new ARC Invoker Pro. This is a sweet rod, comes in at 150 bucks. It's extremely lightweight. It's made out of a 40 ton graphite. So they've upgraded uh, the last Im Invoker and they, they've gone to a high pressure roll blank. So uh, you could, and it, the blank is left unfinished as well. So you can see, you know, the actual rolling of graphite on there. And the graphite has actually got um, ARC's logoing on there and it kind of gives it like a snakeskin effect. It looks really cool. Um, super lightweight, tangle free guides, um, super comfortable reel seat, EVA foam handle, extremely lightweight. Just an awesome, the, the, rod, the invokers are already great rods and they stepped them up even more. Uh, to the Invoker Pro, and you really are to beat for 150 bucks. All right, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New Tackle Warehouse. For more information and purchase this product team here today, please click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.